And your your full when you say full time, uh, what does full time mean in your world? Is it thirty five hours? Thirty five hours. Thirty five hours. Why is it impossible to work forty hours there and increase the uh, hours of open operation? We would love that. So what's inhibiting you? It's not written that way in the union contract. Ah. So it's a union blockade on this, huh? So that might be a motivation to not make this position in union position, you know? It was brought up by Tim in a, in a way that, positive way, and he was, I was going to ask you, and I'm going to get specific on it. <coughs> You're saying this role is a 35 hours and it's going to be a union. Would you be open to it being a non-union and make it a full-time person? Then I'd be in favor of it. But some of the items that was Tim brought up, we can't go over 35 hours. I would think this person could help maybe on a Friday afternoon if they were there 40 hours. Would you be open this, to this person being a non-union? Yes um, or no? That's a two-part question. I can't answer it yes or no. Okay. Have them help out on Friday afternoon, having someone in the office by themselves? No, absolutely not. Um, I wouldn't have one person work, whole, work, working town, in the town afternoon. Hall cl close at five to all the time. No. There's other people in the building. No, no, but I'm saying to be in my office performing transactions, one person there by themselves does not work. It does not work. If there's phones to be answered, if there's a line of customers, one person there, it doesn't, that doesn't help anything. It just, I mean, it might be open for those customers that want to come in on Friday afternoons, but I will tell you that in 2009 when I changed the office hours, from 9 to 4.30, Monday through Friday is what they used to be. I had a lot of complaints from people wanting the office open earlier in the morning and later in the afternoon. And in order to accomplish that, I had to take those hours from somewhere, and that's where the Friday afternoon came in. I put an article in the newspaper and asked people for feedback. This is what I'm proposing. Tell me what you think. Give me your opinion. Give me suggestions, and I'll take it from there. I had nine people send me an email and eight of the nine were positive to that change. So that's why I made the change in 2009. So, and again, restricted by the number of hours that my employees can work, I had to take those hours from somewhere. So that's where the Friday afternoons came from. And then the tax collector shortly followed afterwards and so did the recreation department. So to change, be able to change their hours to give more hours throughout the week. Are they union too? Um, Mm -hmm. The tax collector's assistant is, or that her deputy is, and I believe the employees so in the recreation department are as well. Yep. Are you finished, David? Thank you. Is it